Welcome to Bang It News. Today, Walmart jelly sandals contain lead. Claim, jelly sandals sold by Walmart contain unsafe amounts of lead. This claim is unproven. Small description. Rumors holding that jelly sandals vended by Walmart contain unsafe levels of lead are based on unofficial Facebook posts. Explanation. A series of Facebook posts claiming that jelly sandals, or jellies, sold at Walmart stores contain a dangerous amount of lead circulated in June, such as the following post beware. Parents, I took Adele into her well checkup the other day and her routine lead screen came back positive. They took a capillary sample from her toe and the first test resulted in a 14.3. And on repeat it was 8.6. A normal result is less 3.3. Of course I was shocked and began racking my brain for what could be the cause. After a Google search I saw some people talking about their kids having a positive lead screen from wearing Walmart jellies. Adeline was wearing these Walmart jellies the day of her screen. I bought a lead test from Lowe's and sure enough, the jellies tested positive for lead. We had a Venus sample drawn to see if she was absorbing it systemically but the results weren't back yet update. The health dep called me today and said that her serum lead levels were thankfully normal. So it was obviously something her skin came into contact with. Am I 100% sure it was these shoes? No, but these $5 shoes are not worth the stress. Sadly, Walmart and Jelly's Renty the only culprits here and I encourage all parents to just be aware of things they put on their kids that Renty made in the US similar claims were made by other Facebook users. One, for instance, reported that her daughter, who basically only wears Jelly's, also demonstrated elevated lead levels mamas. I saw a post here on. For full explanation, see the description.